Hey everybody, Maddie here with Backwards Mindset. So I want to first off say thank you to everybody that left nice messages yesterday. You saw my community post. You know that I had a really low blood sugar and things were really great for me yesterday. Um, really low blood sugar. I don't remember most of it. I woke up sitting on the floor of the kitchen with the refrigerator door open and I felt like garbage because my blood sugar started going back up real quick and I was like drinking maple syrup and whatever I could get my hands on apparently with sugar. So my brain was doing some functioning and thinking about what it was supposed to do, but it, it wasn't picking the right thing. So it was kind of a mess. Um, then shortly after that, I got my blood sugar back up. I felt like garbage, but I was okay. Um, I had to take the kids to school and then Amanda had to go to her sister's house to go watch um, the daycare kids and I had to do a little bit more work. I know you saw in the last video I did me working in Amanda's mom's basement. So I went over there, just had to clean up some more stuff, get into bags, um, just getting everything ready to take out to the curb for the next pickup, garbage pickup next week. Um, so I'll be doing that next Tuesday. I'm gonna have to stop over and uh, do that. And I just noticed something really weird on my roof and I don't know what it is. I'm gonna have to look at that here. Okay, so it was just, there. You, there's a satellite dish up there and it was the old wire like blue away so which I actually have to that's something I forgot about until I was sitting here and just thought about it that's something else that I need to do to get ready to get the house sold I kind of want to have all that stuff ready um, get them off patch up where the satellite dishes were and just kind of kind of go from there um, it shouldn't be a big project I should actually be able to do it but we don't have satellite anymore uh, we switched over to Spectrum, which has been way better than when we were with AT&T. So I uh, need to get those off the roof just so it looks a little better. There is some other big projects that I'm working on um, with not feeling good. Like I said yesterday, there wasn't a video that came out. Um, today, I still kind of felt like garbage. I took a nap this afternoon. Um, I've had a lot of paperwork stuff to send in. Of course, had to file for unemployment because uh, don't have any money coming in so um, I've been dealing with that and that whole process stinks um, it's not fun I had to do it years and years ago when I got laid off uh, but now it, it's changed a little bit and it's just a pain like they uh, I, I guess it makes sense I guess I get it you gotta verify stuff but it's, I think I'm almost at like 18 hours total on the phone with them. So it's been taken away from a lot of time and it stinks because even doing that kind of takes away from looking for jobs. Now I've applied for a ton, a ton of jobs. There's nothing I haven't applied for. I've been getting calls, so that's been going good, but I haven't had anything go through yet. I am waiting on a couple people to call me back uh, for like a second interview, I did like some preliminary like phone interviews. Um, some I was just kind of like, man, this is garbage. It doesn't even seem like a good job. It doesn't seem like something I'd want to do. But f I guess fortunately, those ones haven't contacted me back. So that's a good thing. But the whole thing with just with the blood sugar and not feeling good really just kind of put a damper on things yesterday. I had a ton of motivation going into yesterday that I was gonna get stuff done, I was gonna get stuff completed, and I was just gonna start smoking out the rest of the basement and getting it done. Didn't happen. Tomorrow, however, Aiden's home from school. Um, I'm gonna utilize him while he's here, try to get a lot of stuff done. We do have to get over at some point tomorrow to Amanda's mom's house again. I told Amanda's sister, I offered to go over, me and Aiden, and clean up uh, the yard a little bit and organize some of the toys and stuff for the kids in the backyard. Because on Sunday, we're gonna be doing our uh, a family get-together. We're gonna be carving pumpkins. Unfortunately, 
Amanda's got to work, so she won't be able to be there. But it will still be fun. I think I showed that in a video last year, um, in October of last year, um, us carving the pumpkins and stuff. So going to get that cleaned up. I'm hoping the weather's nice on Sunday for that, so it's fun for the kids, uh, for the younger ones. Um, Aiden and Darcy still carve their pumpkins, but, you know, it's a lot more fun for the, for the little ones. So my niece and nephew and... But the family gets together, and I think last year we cooked like some hot dogs on the grill, which you know how I love my hot dogs. So, the other thing I had, uh, Buck and Barb did a video the other day. So if you haven't seen that, go over and check that out. The link is down in the description of the video. So you go down below, you can click on it. It will send you over to the video. Um, it's I thought it was funny. So um, you're gonna want to go over check that out I, I i thought it was good um it was an idea that buck and barb came up with i thought it was really funny i laughed but it was a it was a good video so you should go over and check that one out if you don't know who buck and barb are go over and check it out you might find it funny you might not find it funny it might not be something that you like and that's okay not everybody likes everything so but that's kind of what i got going on uh, a lot of little projects around here helping out family getting the kids places uh interviewing for jobs working on the basement we're, I've talked to a couple people I've been contacting about properties that I've been seeing. Um, so getting excited about that. I think everybody's getting a little excited about that. Amanda had the kids um, parent-teacher conferences last night. They were on Zoom calls. Um, so usually, I usually do most of the parent-teacher conferences. I'm going to go to Darcy School at the end of the month. I think it is, and uh, I'll meet with Darcy's teachers, but Amanda met with one of Darcy's teachers last night, the other one sent us an email, and then she met with Aiden's teachers, and of course, um, all their reports from the teacher were all good, uh, very happy with how they're doing, they're doing very well, so didn't hear anything bad, it was very, it's always good, every single time we do one, so excited about that. I want to... Uh, Marianne Bimler sent a uh, card. I uh, want to thank her for doing that for Aiden. Um, so a Aiden said to say thank you. He appreciates it. Um, trying to think what else I got going on. Yeah, I just, I didn't, I, oh. So I did go out. I forgot this was the whole point of the video. I did go out to film today. And I got something in the mail. I think I told you guys the other day about it. Got it in the mail. I'm super psyched. I'm, I'm like, I'm going to go out. I'm going to make this video. And I get out there, and it was like, okay, the weather. It was kind of sunny. It was a little overcast. It was, it was okay. Anyways, so I start, like, talking to the camera. I get everything all set up. Everything's going great. It's awesome. I go through, and I stop, and I get done with, like, the first part. And I can hear most of it. And the wind really picked up while I was filming. And I went through and did, like, everything. I had... 14 minutes of footage and the wind was so loud you couldn't hear a word I was saying so I'm gonna have to do a take two I'm gonna wait I'm gonna do that one probably sometime over the weekend um, we'll get out there and and get that refilmed so I can get that out so I can get that video out but I was really excited about it um, it's something that I said before is gonna save me a bunch of time it's really cool I think you guys are gonna if if you do this activity, you're going to want one of these because it's super, it's super neat. I did get to throw it a couple times, use it, and it was great. So, so that was really exciting on that front, but I didn't get any video out of it. So that's why I'm just doing this. Figured I'd come on, talk to you guys for a little bit. I was going to put out a video yesterday. I was planning on working in the basement. Like I said, blood sugar dropped too low. I couldn't do anything. Um, it felt like I got punched repeatedly in the head. Um, it was all over the place. Um, my body kind of hurt all day. It really, uh, it stresses, strains everything, strains your muscles, uh, strains everything when your blood sugar drops low like that. So it, w it was bad. Now, so everybody knows I've been a diabetic really long time. Sometimes this happens more often than not. It usually happens when I'm sick. Um, I did eat before I went to bed. I had plenty, plenty of food, plenty before I went to bed. 
that shouldn't have happened. No idea why it happened, but it happened. So it always gets taken care of. Usually if I don't catch it, like, because it always happens when I'm asleep, not when I'm awake. So I can feel it coming on when I'm awake and I can take care of it right away. But Amanda's had to call uh, 911 a couple times due to the blood sugar being low. But it's just, it's rough. It makes it really hard to just get through stuff after that. It takes a toll on your body. And I've, like, I've been dealing with it for forever now. Long time. A long, long time. Yeah. Yeah, but it just, it stinks. So I wanted to come on, say hi to you guys, let you guys know I love you. Um, everything's good. I feel better. The sickness is finally starting to go away. I'm still a little, little bitty congested. I've uh, been drinking some tea, water, whatever. Been getting it in me, trying to get it down. Um, I'm not, most of you guys know from the beginning, if you're new, you don't. I'm not a big guy into taking like over-the-counter medicines. I don't do it. I don't like swallowing pills. Um, never done it. I don't like liquid stuff. I usually just let my body fight it off. I've done it for forever, um, and it usually works good for me. Everybody's like, oh, you should take this. And you should. I, I don't. Um, I just kind of let my body fight it off. Um, the last two years, I've gotten a little bit more sick than I have probably in the past 20, but I usually don't get sick too often. So when it does, that's why I just kind of let it work its way out and get it done. But I'm feeling a lot better. Tomorrow's going to be a good day. Aiden and I are going to get to work. We're going to get some stuff done. And we will see you guys on the next one. So the next one, you're going to see some work being done. Or you might see the new thing I got. One of the two. Either way, there's going to be stuff coming out. I'm going to try to put out something every day this weekend because I haven't put out a whole lot. Um, but that's what I'm going to do. So we'll see you on the next one. Slime out, everybody. Love you. And we'll see you later. Bye.